What's up guys, Jay The Way here again, and today I'm going to be talking about why I prefer being respected than liked. Before this video starts, please smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new content. Now the reason why I prefer being respected and being liked is through my experiences in high school. When I was in high school, I was essentially your stereotypical nice guy. I could not stand up for myself at a lot of instances and for example, if I was leaving a party, people would want me to stay and I would stay because I wouldn't want to try to make them mad even though I had a test to study for. Or in other instances, if people asked me to do their math homework, I would end up doing it in the fear of not trying to anger them or getting them to try to like me. In high school, I was essentially a yes person. I was easily used, I was a pushover, and even though people knew me in high school and might have liked me, I'm pretty sure they didn't respect me. As I change my life when people respect me now, it feels a whole lot different. Let me give you another example. LeBron James has been in the NBA since 2003, and he's obviously received a lot of criticism. One guy, Skip Bayless, is notorious for being a LeBron James hater. All this dude does is talk smack about LeBron James on TV. And you know his infamous line, his legacy was saved by Ray Allen. If you've noticed something, LeBron James has not responded to Skip Bayless once after all these years. Because LeBron James does not respect Skip Bayless. Essentially what LeBron is saying is, Skip Bayless is so irrelevant compared to me, it is not even worth taking my time out of the day to respond to him. The Cavs, after they won a championship, there was a time I clearly remembered LeBron was complaining about how the Cavs were too top loaded. This was after they lost the Pelicans without Anthony Davis. And then the next thing you know, Charles Barkley is on TNT ripping LeBron. The next thing you know, LeBron James publicly responded to Charles Barkley. The reason why LeBron James even responded to Charles Barkley's criticism of him is because he actually respects him enough to respond to him. LeBron might have not necessarily liked Charles Barkley in the moment, but he actually respects him because Charles Barkley is a Hall of Famer and one of the greatest players to ever play the game. Now, when people don't respect you, they don't want to be seen with you or associated with you. They think their time is not worth being around you. When people don't respect you, they think you're easy. They think you're a pushover. They think you can be easily taken advantage of. To sum it all up, when someone doesn't respect you, they think they're more relevant than you or they're better than you. The stereotypical nice guy is not respected because he doesn't even put himself as a priority. He would throw away his time and his goals just in an attempt to please somebody else or try to get people to like them. Being needy and needing other people's validation is some of the most unattractive things an individual can do. And to be quite frank, if someone needs other people's validation all the time or needs to be liked all the time, I wouldn't even respect that person either. When I transitioned out of high school to college, I started focusing on myself more and of course, that leads to haters. When I climbed up the ladder of being more successful, there were a good amount of people in my major who were envious of me. They never talked to me a single day in my life and they assumed that I was stuck up, assumed I was arrogant. But the fact that you're even being talked about in the first place shows that you're actually relevant and people actually have some form of respect for you. People do not talk about things that are not relevant. This is why the incels at your high school were never talked about. People don't respect them. If I were to look back at things, though not everyone may like me, I have more people who actually respect me and genuinely like me. And the key word is genuine. They genuinely respect you and they genuinely like you. That's it for this video. If you'd like to see more videos, comment down below. I plan to do more storytelling videos. I'm gonna try to switch things up and I'm getting a mic soon and other accessories that will improve the quality of my videos. I will see you in the next video. Jay the way out.